the dog. All right, so what part are you going to start on? Because if we're tracing it, what part are we starting with? So Tell our audience. So what you want to do to make this balanced and perfect is that you want to look at the distance from the eyes mm. to the top. The top of the layer of what you're painting. So, yeah, some of you will be like, oh, no, we just start with the ears. No, 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 no. Um, we're not going to start with the ears. We're going to start with the eyes. Because the eyes help you to realize what's happening. And like shape out the proportions. Of Scissors trick. So it's. Fingers. Okay. Two fingers. And so you look at it like that. Okay. And that's how far apart the eyes should be. That's how far apart the eyes should be. Um, maybe you shouldn't munch in her eyes that deeply like that, but I'm trying to show you how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we're going to draw the next one. So you see this? Now you're going to the next layer. We're drawing. And honestly, it gets real easy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because So here's how you want to look at it though. So you want to look at your dog. Every time you look at your dog, they have a facial expression. Um, they're either hungry, they're e either mad, or they probably want to go out to do a poop. So now we did the eyes, we did the outline of the nose. What's What comes next? Now, this is the easy part. So the easy part is pen. And guess what? Uh, that could just be fur. So then you so you're going from this. the nose. Okay, cool. From the nose. Then you could do this. Sort of like a down slanted line for the muzzle or like the mouth part. Okay. And do you see the middle part? Yeah. So now you can do that. Good for that like And guess place. and guess what? So you're gonna say, oh my goodness, I just see lines on the nose. No, 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 no. Like I'm not well, gonna, we're gonna color it in later anyway. We're gonna color it in. So even even if you make a mistake, let's just say you do that or like that. And for for students, you're gonna be using pencil anyway. So Yes. So guess what? Look at this though. You could always follow the line you drew. So that's oh like my going goodness! Down and, and I'm looking at the up. camera. I'm not even looking at the painting okay. thing. Okay, so they're going down and curling up. Okay. Yeah. And you know what's interesting about this whole thing is that there's always color. Yeah, that's and a big part of your work. Think about this. Look at this. Okay, so now you're going up and around, and then you kind of make like an inverted triangle shape around the muzzle there, huh? Yeah, but Molly made it more difficult than what it is. It's like, <laughs> just draw a line. I know, but I'm trying to trace, so like then they, they've got another sort of triangle shape here, and then more of like a, a regular line here, okay? And so guess what? I want to teach y'all. Molly was right the whole time. And then we're going up. And guess what? Look at this. And going to the it's back so of her simple. head. simple. You okay, just draw and now look, a line. You're doing like little short brush stroke or, you know, like lines, but close together. That's kind of giving it that effect, right? Okay, now yeah. we're going down. Look at this. Am I even looking at the... Okay. <laughs> Frankie, we're trying to teach them here, not brag about <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Okay. Now, all you want to do is just make sure that you get a definite lining of the work you're trying to do. Okay, so now you went from like the bottom of the nose up and around to now you're doing the top of the ear. Okay. Yeah. So guess what? 
And that almost so, looks like a little devil horn, but she's an angel. She's not a devil. But you know what I mean? It kind of has that sort of curve. Yes, it, 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 it certainly does. And maybe this pit bull is the ruler of the Ooh, devil. And now it's like sloping along. And we've got kind of another triangle shape here with the ears. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Right. You're absolutely right. Good good reminder. So guess what? And then guess it what curves you... back around. Yeah. Nice. And then look at look at you. And oh my comes, god, look go. at this. Okay. Look at what you guys are doing. Okay, and that's good like <laughs> that's good feathering <laughs> for fur look. So guess what? So this is what you're gonna do. Nice. So a curving line, almost like a U. So that then goes up. It's a U, but then, then it swoops over. Exactly, it swoops over. Okay. Swoop. Swoops upside your head. So you, you Flying swoops up, upside your head. head. Yep. Good. And then Superman save us. I'm on my way. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, look at that nice little tiny space between the neck and the bandana. And this is something Frankie's taught me. If you want something to look like further away, the front part is wider and bigger, and then the back part is smaller and tinier space in between it. Also because when you look at your dog, you could actually see the distance yeah. on them, no tuto. So right. it's like, so like when you're drawing it, you could actually see that distance though. And so then you're saying, so Superman's on his way, and then Is he's he like, fly back down now. He's okay. like, Lois, I need to get you. <laughs> okay, cool. And come back to Earth. Yeah. And this, this is definitely one of those things where you can kind of, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because these are curvy lines. Okay, beautiful. What about the under part of my little puppy's chin? What you want to do is. Okay, this dog is looking that way, not that way. So if they're looking this way, this is, is how their, their chin mouth. mouth. Okay, cool. Awesome. What we're going to do is. Okay. All right, Whoa. so we're starting with the left side. That's what you're trying to tell me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so on the left now, by that little corner above the nose, we're going down with a soft curve, almost like an S. A really elongated, stretched out S. And now we're making the teeny tiny feet. The tiny back foot. This is something my husband is really good at that I am not, which is making back legs on animals and showing distance. And then we're going up from that one and also doing kind of like a soft loping S. And oh, look at this. He's separating the dark part from the light part of the dog's foot. So you did all the dark part first. Oh, but look at this. There's a little bit of release in here. Okay, so right, you made a little mistake, but you just corrected it by going over. And now you're making the lines to show our little baby's paws. And you're kind of doing like little short curving toe pieces too. Beautiful. All right, and now he's going back up from that part of the paw and curving around to make the chest slash belly. And then up even further, all the way up, like in a curving line, in a curving line up to the other side of like, the other side of the chest into the belly, right? Okay. So now we've got two legs, a chest slash belly, a head. So now we've just got the, the right side left to do. Where should they start from? So, um, for some particular reason, because this is a girl pit, pit bull, the music shall play on. Okay, so you started from the top ear area, basically, to create her outer arm. And it's, again, these long, sloping, curving lines. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but then it goes down and around till we get to this area, and that makes the, the um, hold on, stop for a second. So that makes the like, that's where the dark part of the leg, because our dog is multicolored. That's where the dark part ends. And then it's shloop around curving like this. And then you went here, balanced it out. And yeah, these are all like soft lines going down. Now he's putting in the toe beans. And remember, 
this doesn't have to be your definite lining. This mm -hmm. is just for you to get the basis right. of how you're going to paint your um, pet portrait. Mm -hmm. And that'll be next week. This week, we're just doing the lines. Yes. All right. Now smile for the camera. Good. Okay. And so that is how you draw this version of our dog as a pit bull. Space. Right. Draw the circle. Circle first. I think the biggest thing I've learned from you is to start with the eyes because that gives you the proportions, right? Like how big and small everything else is going to be. Whereas my instinct when I look at something would be to draw the, like the outline of the head. I think it makes a lot of sense to start with the eyes. Oh, we forgot one part, which is the nostrils. The little like sort of soft triangles for the nose. So basically what you want to do is for the nostrils, do not overthink it. 